the next step, we're going to open all our nice bake. Mm -hmm. Here we go. So the only bit of the bone that is actually left is actually in the head. The head, mm -hmm. yeah. Because even a bit for presentation. Yes. But even some people like it, the head. So don't forget mm. about that. Okay. Next step, let's season very quick just the pork. Mm -hmm. Plus what I like to do, Michelle, we're preparing the base with the bay leaves. Don't be shy, you can help me. Now, Nicola, can you just tell us what is the reasoning behind um, lining it with the bay leaves? What I like, it's always going to work like for color the filling and give extra flavor between okay. the meat and the... Okay, okay. And, and the stuffing. Okay. Okay? Beautiful. So, next step, Michelle, we're going to start to put the stuffing in. Yeah. That's, That's a chef job. Up. This is when they get their hands really dirty. We try to put in the middle, like, try to put, try to make another fillet, mm -hmm. you know, so we can roll it in. So what we've actually pulled out, you're actually putting back in in order to regain the shape of uh, La Porqueta de Sucking Pig. Yeah. And then Nico is going to basically, um, I guess, rewrap it and give us the shape of the original pig. Okay, that should do. Mm -hmm. And of course, you never go right to the end because otherwise the filling... It's gonna come out. Yeah. Well, Nico. So we've got our stuffing. Yeah. Now, what's the next point? Now we're going to start to roll in it. Mm. And we tie it so we can put in the oven to roast. Yeah? Make sure that it's all close. We're starting to securing under the neck. Mm -hmm. Okay, come on, darling, move. Thank you. So how do you do this? So you just do a normal knot, double knot? We start with that one knot here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Be and useful. Put a finger there. Oh. And obviously, you want to tie it so that you get the rolls, don't you? That's the whole point. You've got to yeah. tie it nice and tightly. All right. Okay. Now the second one. Let's give us a bit of things. Okay. We're starting like that. You... Yeah. Thank you very Come much. Come on, Michelle. You've got a part in this too. All right. Can you cut me a piece, please? A long piece. Longer. That's all? Yeah. We're going to do in two or three parts. Are we okay. Good? Okay. Okay. Where were we? Ah, here. Take Sorry. us through it slowly so we can see exactly how this is yeah. done, Nicole. Now that we pass through the entire. Are we doing another? Can you help me to? Thank you very much. Passing through again. Side here. So yeah. you can get a nice long line down the centre. Yeah. All right. This is one way that we do it, but there is a different way to do it. Mm -hmm. Now, Nico, of course, we don't uh, rub any salt into this uh, porchetta, do we? No, because, like, the, the, this part of the porchetta is not the... The, 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 the best part is not the, the crackling. You right. won't have a nice crackling from the suckling pig. No. Remember that this is, like, a seven and a half, eight kilo of pig. It's mm -hmm. just under five months. So yes. it's, like, right. still a baby, let's say. All right. We're doing the last here, and after, here we go, and after we're making another one to finish it and to ensure the beginning. All right, there you go. Yeah. Now that's starting to look like the porchetta that you actually see in the shops. And of course, you don't just eat porchetta hot. Initially, they actually sell it on the sidewalks uh, cold it's in actually, a panino. It's actually very famous because the porchetta mm. has been cut very thin. Yes. And it's served in a panino. And it's always they sell it on the wax paper, don't they? Yeah, they yeah. does. Yeah, and okay. they roll up the panino. Like Beautiful. We're doing the same thing. We ensure we're not here, so we know where to start. Thank you. It's the beautiful thing about the traditions of Italy, uh, and these are part of the traditions. Um, and it's for the people of the street, yeah? Yeah. It, it's not just for home or restaurants. This is for the people in the street, because Italians regard their food as a a fairly important part of their daily lives, I think. In Italy, they uh, like eat every time, every moment of the day. Mm. Yes, and we don't trust a skinny chef. That's why we love that, Nico. <laughs> <laughs> this is another different thing, like how to tie, you see? Ah. You can do it in two different ways, like that is... 
doing it. And once again, that's more traditional, isn't it, where you get... Yeah. Yes, you do. Yeah, finger that. Thank you. And ready to go in the oven. Now, we're going to uh, put the... This is ready to go in the oven. We're going to uh, fix, uh, set our oven in uh, 170, 175 degrees. Right. We're going to start to cook slowly for two hours. So that's a fairly low oven, isn't it? Yeah, just mm -hmm. so it can cook evenly through yes. and last half an hour we're gonna raise the temperature in 200 220 mm -hmm. and we finish it off in 20 30 minutes mm -hmm. and the job is done let the pork rest and you have a beautiful beautiful dish and we don't want it covered do we no never leave it covered all right so now the pork is done it's been cooked for two hours and a long temperature and at the half an hour a stronger temperature we take it off from the oven we let the rest and we got now michelle to bring us our beautiful dish mm -hmm. shall it come through please Oh, Here we go, look at that. That is something that you would have found on the tables in medieval Italy. Exactly. Maybe with the heppel on the mouth. You yeah. remember the heppel? Yes, oh, absolutely. That's, the oh. that is a beautiful way to surprise your guests. Oh, that's a very special dish. Oh, wasn't that a fabulous recipe? And of course, these dishes can't be done without the skill of our wonderful chef, Michelle. Michelle Goldsmith, who's done a fantastic job deboning this little uh, suckling pig. And of course, thank you for your wonderful recipe, Nicole. I know lots of parts of Italy have different ideas, but this is a great recipe and we're using things that are in season at the moment, which is what uh, good food is all about, using seasonal produce. And there you have it, the wonderful suckling pig. And of course, these dishes uh, just don't happen. You need the wonderful skill of the chef. So thank you, M Michelle. Michelle Goldsmith, who's uh, done all the great job of deboning. And of course, Nicole, who has imparted his vast knowledge on uh, creating this great dish.